All right, guys, so I'm starting off my set right there. And, well, the first shot was not too bad, actually. It was a little thin and very spinny, but it got a huge kick and got a little bit of release. So, um, yeah, it was not too bad. Not a bad start at the mid-70s right here. But I'm facing Ryan Riesbeck and, well... I mean, Ryan Riesbeck is not a big-time golfer, as we all know, but he's definitely a big-time long driver, right? And as you can see, I was in a little bit of trouble there with my glasses, so, um, yeah, but Tennessee Big Shots of the World Long Drive Tour was one of my favorite events, because that day it was in the mid-90s, and it was the perfect conditions for really, really fast swings, and I think... For all of the competitors, this event was one of the fastest, so that was really cool. And yeah, I was struggling a lot, as you can see. So, <laughs> I still remember when I was looking down at the ball, uh, I saw nothing but a drop of sweat, so that was not too cool. That's why I was really a little bit out of sync at the first half of my set. But, yeah, now comes my fifth ball after I've pushed this one will be right at terrible numbers. But, yeah, go more, amp it up. And I really went after this one. So, the banana man that day, dressed in yellow, hitting that play yellow zone with a yellow shaft. That was pretty cool. So, 151, 218. Didn't show a spin, but yeah, that got a little bit of release as well at 389. So, caught that one a little toey, I guess. So, it was not a perfect smash, but still a pretty good ball. That way it drew as well. So, this one was even faster, 153, 222, and really good spin at 2000. But it looked, when I looked at the ball and the ball flight, and it actually also felt like a draw but it actually cut a little bit, so it went OB right. And, yeah, didn't learn from that, because look at the seventh ball, because that one was even faster. So, really went after that one, and look at, look at the tracer. It looks like it would draw, but 154, 224, and perfect long drive spin, so that would have been further, I guess. But, yeah, <laughs> went OB right. And let's go for the very last one because that's always a really good feeling when you have a decent ball in and you can really crush that last one. And that's what I did. And that drew a lot more at 222, 2200 spin. And yeah, for some reason it didn't go that far. I don't know why that is. So maybe the launch was a little too low, but it didn't get too much of release. But well... What happened after that one is history, because Mr. Ryan Riesbeck really killed one. <laughs>